Thanks for coming back to KG's Garage slash Home Improvements. Um, I just wanted to show you what we did here in the kitchen. It's almost, it's getting there. We're almost done. We have the stainless steel backsplash on here. We got a six foot by four foot piece of stainless steel and put up here. So this goes pretty far down and you can see you're not going to, all of this stuff up here, you are not going to see because we're going to build an enclosure for it. So all that will be hidden, but to get the, get the stainless steel up, what we did was um, I put a, hold on, there's a piece of wood back there. I screwed a piece of wood to the wall and then we took this stainless steel, set it there to mock it up and then to hold it on the top, I just got these little piece of wood, screwed it to the to the studs and I just slid this uh, piece of wood. So we just hold it and that held it pretty good. We mocked it up and then once we did that, we um, took it back down, glued the crap out of the, the, the back side of it or the wall, put a whole bunch of glue on the wall and then pushed it up and then did that. You can see we put, you're not gonna see these screws here, but uh, we put two screws there and I also put two screws on the bottom just to hold it. Um, and then that was to get the stainless steel up and to do the range hood um this thing weighs a ton i don't know how much it weighs but it is really heavy it has two fans in it and it's it's a pretty heavy unit so what um what they want you to do is i think just screw it to the wall with these brackets screw it to the wall with the brackets and then you have some holes up here. There's screws there, and then screw that to the wall. But you're not gonna hit a stud doing that. Uh, so what I thought, and I wanted something that would hold the weight a little bit better. So I made a, like a little shelf here. This is a two by six. And then this is like, I don't know, half of a two by four I cut. So this can sit on there and then put a two by four on the wall so I can hit the studs. Here's the studs right here and somewhere over there. And then I screw this to that and this sucker's not going anywhere now. <clears throat> Only a problem that we noticed. Well, a couple things. Now we see wood here, right? You know, we're gonna have to get another piece of, uh, we're gonna get another piece of stainless and have it come up here, down and this way. So we'll cover up this wood and a little dimple right there because I put a screw in that two by six into the drywall and I think it dimpled it. So that's the only really imperfection. But I think once we get the, another piece of metal stainless that goes against here, that will hide that a little bit. <clears throat> so but that's the only kind of thing that I noticed. Not too much of a big deal. Uh, so that's the range. This was a pain to get in there. So this, I got this little 90. You could turn it and everything like that. <laughs> this came straight down and it did not line up. I was like, man. So we just got this little thing here and boop. And then I had to get a piece. I had another piece of this pipe. This is like, I think it's like a six foot section of pipe. I had to cut a little piece out of it just to go from here to here. If we would have rain, if we would have brought the range up a little bit higher, I would have just been able to take this and just connect it. Oh well. And then you can see the plug. This is how it was set up before. Um, so just a two by four, and then screw that two by four. So yeah, we're gonna build a thing that comes around, around here, goes up. We'll probably make it out of drywall, and, and you're not gonna see any of this. This is going to get covered. You'll probably see this piece, but I don't think you'll be seeing this here. That's going to think it's going to get covered up. I don't know. We have to figure out what design we want to do. And then we have the stove in. Uh, I had to get a new line. Uh, there's a big gap here now because we can't push this all the way against the wall. It's hitting the gas line in the back. And then if it, if it wouldn't hit the gas line, it would hit the plug that's in the back. Let's plug right here. It's kind of, it's getting, I mean, I don't know, but an inch, inch or two right there. 
this is my uh, um, attempt to cut this precise measurement for the outlet. Well, I was off a little bit. Anyway, put the stoves in. Everything's working. That's what we wanted to get done for right now. So, rest of the kitchen. I mean, we still have... That's a broken piece. That's a broken piece. We have to get replaced. Oh, dishwasher's in. This whole thing is new, right? Yeah, this is uh, built. This is kind of neat. Can't really read it, but there you go. An hour and 30 minutes left. I guess it's supposed to shine on the floor, but it's hitting the... Oh, well. I don't know if that's adjustable or whatever. Uh, what else? It's this wall. This wall is making me crazy. And this, we're going to sand this today and texture it. Probably not, not this wall. It still has... It still has... <laughs> Man, I still got a little groove in it. But I, this wall was caved in pretty bad. So I put a whole bunch of drywall mud on it. And I just took a, a, a board, went from here to here, and just scraped it and filled it in. And it's, it's looking better. It looked uh, really bad, like yesterday. But it's getting all cracks because it's it's way too thick. So I just gotta let it dry. Maybe come back. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Maybe I, maybe I can sand the cracks out. But we're getting there. It's almost done. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.